Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in oncology as well as a certified lymphedema therapist. Today in this video, we're going to go step by step on how to apply kinesiology tape to a full leg for someone who has swelling or lymphedema. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram or check out our website for more resources on lymphedema. Now, in my professional opinion, kinesiology tape does not replace the benefits that a compression stocking or your compression garments are going to give you for someone who has moderate to severe lymphedema. However, kinesiology tape can be a really great tool for someone who has more mild swelling or lymphedema. Kinesiology tape also can be a great option if someone is unable to wear compression stockings or compression garments. This can be an another option to try to get lymphatic fluid moving. Now before using it, you want to make sure that your skin is completely dry, that you don't have any lotions or oils on it, so the tape will stick better. You never want to use kinesiology tape over an area that has irritated skin, any over areas of open wounds or infections, and you never want to use kinesiology tape if you have an area of active cancer. Kinesiology tape will be applied directly to the skin and it can stay on for about three to five days or however long it lasts. You can shower or bathe with the tape on. When you dry, you want to try to pat dry rather than rub dry and so you can try to keep the tape on a little bit longer as well. Before using the tape, you always want a test site first. And so it's usually pretty gentle on the skin. However, put a little piece of tape on the skin and make sure that you don't have any irritation or an allergic reaction to the adhesives. So how does kinesiology tape actually work for swelling or lymphedema? When the tape is applied in a specific way, which we'll show here in a little bit, it will actually lift the skin up from the tissues below. And when we lift that skin up, there is more space between the skin and the tissues, and that changes the gradient pressure within that area. And when that pressure changes, it will encourage that fluid to move into the lymphatic vessels, which will move it out of that area and decrease the swelling. So now go ahead and grab your tape and your scissors and we're going to get started and show how to apply it. Okay, so we're going to go through a full leg application of kinesiology tape for lymphedema and swelling. We're going to go from the foot, the lower leg, and the thigh. So you'll have your kinesiology tape. This is one where if you want to do the pre-cut strips, they all come in a specific length. This is where it may not be perfect, but you might be able to find certain pieces that work. So for this one, this would be a little bit long for the foot. Um, it might work well for the lower leg, so we could use on that, but it might be kind of short for the thigh. And so I'm gonna be using the roll and I'm gonna be cutting my own strips. So the first thing we wanna do is measure out the length. And so we wanna have the foot one start right above the ankle to kind of the top of the foot. You can have it go to the toes too if you like, whatever works. So I'm gonna cut about that length and cut that. And I'm gonna cut two for the foot about the same length. Some people can get away with one for the foot. We're gonna do both. Okay, so I'm gonna put those aside for the foot and the ankle. Then we're gonna cut one for the lower leg. I like to start you know, right below the knee or on the sides of the knee and go to about the ankle. So we're gonna cut that length. And then we're gonna do a second one the same length. So cutting that one out and measuring it out. And then we have the lower leg pieces. We'll put those to the side. And then for the thigh, you can get as high as you can. You can actually go above the hip crease if you'd like, but I also like to come above the knee. Some people will do a separate knee piece, which I have in a different video on how to apply kinesiology tape specifically just to the knee that you can check out. So if today we're just gonna do it in general, we're gonna make a long one that goes past the knee to about the upper thigh area and I'm gonna do two of those. Some people will do three or four for the thigh just because of the size of the thigh, but for the sake of this video, to give you an idea of how to do it, 
we're just gonna do two. And put the roll aside and then we have our six pieces. So from here, what we're gonna do is prep the pieces, walk through how to do that. So we wanna have one side have a curved edge. And so I'm gonna round out the edges, getting rid of the sharp corners. Okay, we wanna make sure that we have that so that those corners don't peel up as easy. From there, we're going to cut this strip into four equal strips. So I like to cut down the middle of the strip and then cut those two in half. And so I'm gonna cut straight down the middle. And leave about one to two inches at the end for an anchor. And then I'm gonna go back and cut these two in half as well leaving that same one inch at the end. And then the last one. And then we have our four equal pieces with one inch to two inches at the end for anchorage. And then the last part to prep is to round out the other smaller edges here. Again, same thing, just getting rid of the sharp corners. So you can do one at a time where you round out one edge, or what I like to do is take all three, stack them up on top of each other, and then round out the edges that way, just to speed it up. Put that to the side. And then we have our first strip that is fully prepped and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the other five strips. Um, we'll speed up through that part to make it a little bit quicker. Okay, so now that we have our strips, we're going to show how to apply them. And so when we look at these strips, we have that anchor piece at the end, that's one inch. We're going to tear that paper off the back right at that anchor. And we're gonna peel that piece of paper back off of the tape. From there, what we're going to do to apply it to the ankle is I like to start right above where the ankle is and then going past the joint to go onto the foot. And so I'm gonna start on one side of the foot or one side of the ankle, start on the inner here and lay that part down. And then we're gonna rub that in. When you rub it in, that warmth is what actually um, activates the adhesive to make it stick better. Okay, from there, what we're gonna do is to get each strip one at a time to go over the area that's swollen. So I'm gonna peel back the first piece. And when we do this, we want just a little bit of tension on the tape. We don't wanna pull as strong as we can. We want just a little bit there. And we're going to just go over wherever the swelling is, over the foot to the end. And that last little bit, we're gonna leave about an inch or so at the end. We don't want tension on that inch, and so that we're going to just lay it flat. Now, this one's a little long for me, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it back so it doesn't go past the toe. And then We'll try again. So just a little tension. And then that last little bit at the end, there's gonna be no tension on it. And we're gonna just lay that nice and flat and then smooth it out. Then we'll go on to the next one. So peeling it back, leaving about an inch at the end, little bit of tension. And we'll just kind of cover wherever the swelling may be. And then that last little bit, we'll lay it flat. You can trim that as you need to or you could start higher up on the ankle. Then for the third one, same thing. Around with just a little tension and then no tension at the top. And there's no specific area you need to follow. I really just say find where the swelling is and go over the swelling. It is okay if the tape overlaps itself a little bit, that is just fine. And the last strip, 
I'm gonna go around the bone and then we'll go down there. And then we'll go rub it in, but making sure we're trying not to get that edge peeled up. And then there's the first piece. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with the other piece. And so I'm gonna start at the outside of the foot. We're gonna peel back the paper. And then what we're gonna do is start higher up on the ankle in the back and rub that side in. And then same thing, one at a time, pull it back and we'll just guide over the foot with a little tension and then lay it flat without And then we have the foot and ankle. I do have another video specifically on taping the foot and ankle with a little bit more in depth with a little bit different technique that you can check out and you can find that on the playlist down below too. But we're gonna move on to the lower leg. This is where a lot of people will have their swelling and wanna spend most of their time. So we'll take our first piece, tear off the paper backing And then for the lower leg, I'm gonna start right below the knee and mark my way down. So I'm gonna start one on one side, one on the other, and rub that first piece in. And then we're gonna take that first piece, tear it back about an inch or so at the end. And then we're gonna just guide it with a slight tension in wherever the swelling may be. No tension at the last little bit, and that will lay flat. Same thing, second one, little bit of tension. No tension at the end. Third, we'll go a little bit this direction. And then one more. And then we'll rub that whole side in. And then we'll do the same thing on the back side. So we'll tear off the back. I'll start on the outside. Fall around the back. So that's how I do the foot and the lower leg. And so for the thigh, the last part, we're gonna just start as high as we can. You can start above the hip. Same concept. We're gonna start one on the outside, one on the in. And then we'll guide these ones down. And because I made them long enough, they should be able to cross the knee. To have, make sure that we're getting around the kneecap all the swelling that sits around the knee. But next one.
same thing on the inner. And then what we could do is do another two in the back of the leg and then just really encompass the whole leg. So some people will do a lot of pieces of tape. Some people will just do a piece in the bottom or the lower leg or two pieces. Some people will just do the foot and ankle. There are various options. It just depends on what someone needs. But that's the general technique on how to set it up, how to prep the pieces of tape and how to apply them in general. You can add as many as you want or as few as you want. Just make sure that your skin is healthy and safe to use the tape with. If you're looking for other videos on how to apply kinesiology tape to different parts of the body, you can find that in the playlist, which I'll put down below. But other than that, I hope you all found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.